Hey there, this is Terry Warren. I'm an independent director with Sensi. I am from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and I wanted to do this video to show you something I put together uh, inspired by uh, another consultant, Chloe Cox. She did a video recently about pocket parties and how she was elevating her shopping link experience for her clients, for her customers, um, because she was finding that Facebook parties were not working the greatest. And of course, in our business, the best way to make the most money in this business is by doing parties and getting our fragrances under people's noses and specifically doing like home parties are like the number one way. Basket parties are a great way as well. Um, but in the virtual world that we've been living in the last few years, online parties have become a rage. They've been super popular. And over the last year, um, another consultant came up with this idea of shopping links, aka the Sensi Party page. And so a lot of incredible creative people came up with other ways to kind of expand on the experience online. Because ultimately, having a Sensi Party is about experiencing our products. And the best way to do that is by smelling, but learning about how awesome the products are, but being able to also show people how they can place orders. So if you haven't had a chance to go watch Chloe Cox's video about pocket parties, um, please do so. Um, I can link it in the, com in the description on the YouTube video so that you can go there and take a look at that as well. So Chloe Cox has created um, a pocket party dynamic, but she was using Google Docs. And Google Docs are great. Um, they're online. You can share a link to them so that people can go in and read and click and so on. I'm a Canva nerd. I love Canva so much. So I decided to take her idea and run with it in my own way. So what I've done is I've created a template for a pocket party website. Yes, you heard me. You can create a website in Canva. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, every feature I've used in this is free. It's a free feature. You can create a Canva account if you don't already have one. Uh, you can create an account for free. Um, I did not use any pro elements uh, because I wanted anybody to be able to create this or to utilize this. So what I've done is I've created a template. It's also linked in the description below so that you can uh, click the template link and save it in your own Canva account and update it as you need it. So each one of these would be used for each individual host. So you want to basically make copies of this for every person you have a shopping link for, for every party host that you have, so that they can share their own custom link to their friends and family. It just, it just takes the party page online experience a little bit further. So what I've basically done is I've taken this sort of idea of a pocket party, combined it with the idea of like a link in bio. So you can click a link in bio and it has all of the things like buttons and images and so on. So I've taken it and I've kind of combined the two. So what I've done in this template in this video specifically is I'm going to show you how you can take the template and make it your own. Um, so all the basics are already here. Um, so all the elements are there that you can simply click and add your information. Um, so it, or link directly to your active Sensi website. So as a disclaimer here. In order for this to work, you need to have an active Sensi website. And I know for some people um, that money's a little tight. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, the Sensi website pays for itself, 100%. Um, if you're using it the right way and you are directing customers to go place orders for it, if you're, place, if you're directing customers to place Sensi Club orders, Sensi Club orders alone for me pay for my website every month. Not to mention, the cost of your website is a tax write-off. So every single month that you're paying for your website, at the end of, of the following year, you can write that off as a business expense um, under advertising, I believe. So um, 
I highly recommend just as a side note here, uh, talking about taxes, get yourself a tax professional. My job is, is I'm a fragrance specialist. I'm a Sensi consultant. I'm not a tax person. So I'm going to hire somebody to do my taxes. And that's just the straight up of it. Okay. So you want to watch another video on, ta- on Sensi tax and Sensi business taxes. I'm sure there's a YouTube video for that as well. But today we're going to talk about this pocket party and this template. So I'm going to show you what I do to basically make this customized for each of my party hosts. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to click the link, add it to your Canva. So you're going to see everything that's here. And I've made it pretty generic. Um, So there's no pricing on it. Um, There is no, like there's nothing on it that really you would need to change in in a great deal of thing, unless you're in a different region. I'm in region one. So unless you're in like region two or three, then you may need to update this for your areas, uh, specifically for your catalog or your products. Okay. Um, So basically everything that has, I'm going to zoom in here. Anything that has this like bracket where it says name or party end date, anytime that you see that, oh, I meant to change this. So I was already playing with this before I started this video, but basically I have on the template, you're going to see, oh, let me just back up here. I have, it'll say in the bracket here, it'll have the brackets there as well. So you'll see this instead. There, you'll see that, you'll see name shopping link. So anywhere there's a bracket, you're gonna want to change. That's what you need to customize, okay? So you're gonna also, up here at the top where this little bubble is with the cloud, you're gonna grab a picture profile picture or ask your party host, you have a profile picture that you love um, that I can use. And then you're going to add that their picture to the top. And here's why, because when they are sharing this link, people are going to, people that know them are going to know them. They're going to see their picture. They're going to see their name and connect the two. Um, So you want to put their picture in at the top. Okay. Um, Heck, they may say, you know what? People only know me by my dog. So use my dog picture, whatever it is. Have a conversation with your clients and and talk to them about how they want, how they want it customized. Telling them that you're doing this for them takes that experience to the next level. Okay. So any picture, you're going to add a link. You're also going to link um, their profile picture. You're going to link it to their party page on your website. Um, And I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. The buttons here, you're going to click the button itself, the little button oval box here and you're going to be able to click and link that pictures you're going to link every single picture as you go okay the last thing here is this party end date you're going to get that from your party page that you create in your workstation okay um i can in the description below i will link um a party page yeah a party page information about how you can create a party page if you've never created a party page is actually very easy You pretty much do it every time you create a party and you basically are going to copy the link and use that link for everything. So when you're creating your party page, you're going to have to select an end date. And then typically uh, this is a conversation I'll have with my clients. If it's a home party, I like to have my home parties closed within five days, no more than a week after the party. If it's an online party, I don't like them to go for more than two weeks. If this is a shopping link, shopping links can be left open for maximum 90 days. But I set a deadline for 80 days and I set a reminder, an appointment on my calendar, on my uh, my iPhone calendar to send me a reminder at that 80 days to connect with them so that I can just say, check. I can check the workstation, I can check how many orders they've had placed through their shopping link. Um, and then I can give them an update that they are X number of dollars away from earning rewards, or they've already earned rewards. This is how much you've already earned in awards or rewards. So um, let's just get into this for a second. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to swipe out and go to my browser here. And I'm just going to go to my website. Okay. And I'm going to go select a party. Now, 
I'm still in the process of building up, adding my parties. I just finished off a bunch of shopping links at the end of December. So I'm now adding, going through all of my customers that have placed orders within the last six months and I'm gifting them their own shopping link. So my plan is not only am I going to go through and create a party page, which is this thing here, view party page. This is on your Sensi website, okay? I'm going to go through and create a party page for every single person that has placed an online order with me in the last six months. And I'm going to send them an email saying, thank you so much for supporting my business in the past year. Your support is greatly appreciated. Here is a your exclusive shopping link the next time you come shopping on our website when your orders accumulate to $265. I'm in Canada. Just so you know, uh, if they collect at 200 minimum 265 in orders with this link, uh, they will unlock rewards that they can redeem later. So, um, and then that just gives me sort of a thing that we can work on. But it tells you here when you're creating it, when the party is going to end. I believe it states it at the top. Anyway, so that's basically a party page. It's pretty generic, right? There's nothing much to it just says what it is, who the host is. It's pretty basic. But I'm just going to copy this. Copy. I'm going to go back into my Canva. And now I'm going to do some linkage here, okay? Uh, very top, pay, top thing here is I'm going to tap the picture. I'm going to hit these three dots underneath it. This is going to open up options below. So I can swipe across until I find the button that says link. And I'm going to click link. It's going to open a box. I'm going to tap it again. I'm going to do a second tap to hit paste, to open up that paste button. And then I'm going to hit done. And now that picture is linked. See, it says link added. How cool is that, right? So now we're basically going to go through and we're going to add all the information that we need to add. So for anything that has a picture, you want to link to the appropriate thing. And I'm going to show you what that means in a second. So the profile picture. Uh, I'm going to go back again. I'm going to hit link. I'm going to add that party page link because I want to be able to give them as many options as possible. Hit done. All right. Now I'm going to add this picture. So I'm on my iPhone here and I'm in the Canva app. If you need a video on how to use this on a computer, comment below, let me know, and I will take care of that for you. Um, but for now, I'm just going to hit replace and I'm going to look for my uploads because I've already uploaded a picture of my my beautiful mama here, she is my January host of the hostess with the mostest here uh, as my beautiful mama. Uh, and then I'm going to come up and I'm going to add her name. I am going to change this. I'm going to make sure I'm going to double click on my shift key. If you double shift, that capitalizes everything. Patricia's and hit done. So then it capitalizes on the top there. Okay. I'm going to come up and I'm going to do the same thing here. Get rid of those brackets. Patricia's shopping link will close. And I have this set up to close. Whoops. We'll just stop. There we go. I'm going to drag it to close it. Back it up, back it up. And I have it closing January. 31st period okay and then as you noticed here I also had that her name in the shopping link so I'm going to make sure that it's customized to her okay and I know it seems a lot it seems a lot of work but let me tell you once you do this it is customized to the client okay all right so now I'm going to tap the button and I'm going to swap oops I'm going to hit those three buttons so you here you'll see where it has like two squares with a plus sign. That's to duplicate, we don't wanna do that. The trash can is to delete it. And I'm gonna hit the three dots beside it. I'm gonna swipe again to find link. I'm gonna add the link here. And that's to go to the shopping link party page, okay? That's it, link's added, now it's done. So the top section's done, I've now customized it to the client, to the, to the host. I'm gonna go back into my website I'm going to hit the Sensi logo at the top. This is going to take me right back to the homepage. I'm going to scroll all the way toward the bottom and I'm going to look for flip through the catalog. So if you click on the button there, this opens up a flip book 
directly on your website, which is so cool. So you can click on open and you can flip through it. It's so neat. It's so cool. You can zoom out, zoom in. There's so much you can do with this. It's so cool. Um, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to hit copy my link. So I'm just going to open up the page, go up to the top, tap it once, tap it a second time. It's going to come up with the options. I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go back. So I, on my cell phone, I just swipe up and to the right. Um, and that shows me the different things that I have opened. Okay. So then I'm going to go through and just add my links. I'm going to tap the picture again, three dots. Oops. Try that again. And I go undo three dots, link, box, double tap, hit paste, hit done. Boom. Same thing with the button. I want to do the same thing. Three dots, swipe for the link, wherever it is. There it is. Box, tap, paste, done. Okay? So, page one is done. Now, I'm just going to swipe. I'm just going to tap out of here. I'm just going to swipe to the left. And this is going to show me the other pages that I've created. So, what this is going to do when you create your website, when you share this as a website, you are going to... Um, you have a couple of options, but you want to make it so that it's super easy for customers just to swipe through and it'd be so much easier for them to find. Okay. So here we go. We're going to talk about meet the consultant. So this is about you. This is about who you are. So when you're creating a party page, you introduce the host. Thank you for coming to so-and-so's party. This is who I am. And that's basically what this is. So I created it this way so that you can introduce your host to, the host can share this link and go, here's my thing. And they can connect that this is the person that they're supposed to be there for. Then they want to know who, who they're dealing with. Who am I dealing with? Who's my consultant? So this is what you're going to do. You're going to add your picture here. You're going to tap the picture, the cloud, click replace, and you're going to pick a picture of yourself. So I'm going to pick a picture of myself. Um, now, if you want to center it, I can double click and I can drag my picture. I can make it Make it however I want, right? Now, I want to do a meet your consultant. So I want to give them the option to get to know me a little bit better. So I'm going to go back up to my website here. I'm going to click Sensi logo. I'm going to click menu. And I'm going to go to about. Nope. I'm going to hit my name. Yeah. Let me go back up here. Tap my profile picture. Yes? No? Why is that not working now? Okay, so I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Yay, about me. And then here's my story. So that I do this business with my husband. Um, and this is our story. So um, I can share this exactly to them. The other option is I could go back and I could go contact me. And then this is a contact form so that they can come directly to me. They can still see my contact info there. Uh, that's another way to go as well. I think for now, I'm going to go to the about me and I'm going to copy this information. I'm going to go copy the link, swipe over, and I'm going to hyperlink. I'm going to add that link to the picture at the top. Link, picture, paste, done, done. Great. And I do my profile picture as well. Now here, from here, you guys could do anything. You could add your... Um, your profile, your link to your personal Facebook page, uh, to your business page, whatever you want. Uh, for argument's sake, for just for this video, I'm just going to add it again to my about section on my website, just because I can. It has all my details there anyway. Okay, and then I'm going to up. I'm going to I'm going to edit this section. So you're going to change it to your name. You're going to tap the text box. You're going to hover over to create your name. And I'm going to type my name. Okay. Pretty simple. I'm going to hit done. Oh, see, and I made a boo-boo there. I, I swiped away. You can hit the undo button up here on the top left. It looks like an arrow pointing backwards. Uh, that fixes any mistakes you make. So you can just go backwards. Uh, maybe just swipe this way there. And it's I added this little bio. I copied it pretty much for exactly what Chloe Cox had, actually. 
Um, so I've just changed, just changed it up a little bit. If you've been doing Sensi for a number of years, you're going to change this. You're going to tap the text box again. You're going to highlight everything you're going to change. If you've been doing this for years, you can type the number of years you've been doing this. If you've only been doing this for a few months, um, you can change this and just say, um, I swipe out of here a little bit, zoom out and say, I've been, and I've been, I've just started. All right. You could say, and you know, whatever you want, you can change this to whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Um, I, whoops, I am, I'm your sensei consultant. You can change that. And then it says, I love what I do and I love my host even more. So let's keep our and then put that host name in there again. Okay. Okay. Let's help Patricia reach their host reward so they can snag their favorites for half favorites for free and half off if you need help with fragrance please contact me so you're going to change your cell number there you're going to add your email there and then you can scroll and it's going to have a scroll down but i'm going to show you why when i get to the um the other part of it fyi you can actually link your email so that all they have to do is click this button link you can type in your email. Uh, my email is I sent your life at gmail.com. Whatever yours is, doesn't matter. When you hit done, it will automatically link. So when they click that, it will open up directly into their email. How cool is that, right? So hopefully that makes it easy. Um, but yeah, like if you don't like the way this says anything in this, you could change this by simply tapping it and changing it. Okay. This is yours. Once it becomes your template, like you're just borrowing my template. Once you've added it to your Canva, you're making it your own. So make it your own. So I'm going to swipe over again to look at the other pages. And what I've done is I've set up collections first, because that's what it says here. Scroll down to view collections, comma, promos, comma, bundle deals, and more. So I'm going to swipe down and the first thing is the newest collection. So here's what's cool about this is I've templated this out so you can update and change this as new things come out, new releases. You can change things as often as you want. Okay. Um, or do it once a month. Say, you know what, if the Valentine's collection sells out really fast, which so far it hasn't, but if it did, then you could remove, you could change this and add whatever the next collection is, um, which is kind of neat. Uh, so I've added the two most recent collections to this page uh, because they are the most recent. They're the most popular. Um, so I wanted to get them out there as fast as possible. So what you're going to do with this, again, is you're going to tap the picture and you're going to go to your website again. You're going to hit your menu. You're going to go to collections. You're going to scroll down to you see Valentine's collection. and You're going to tap on that. You're going to copy the link again for the entire collection. So from here, I could go back to my website and I could find that warmer and I could tap on this warmer and I'd say, you know what? I'm going to send them directly to that warmer and I'm going to add the link directly to that warmer link warmer paste done. And now the link is added to that warmer and I could repeat that for boo boo bear or Benny boo boo, Benny boo boo. Okay. And I can tap on his picture and copy the link again, and it's going to do the same thing. So every picture you're going to link. Yes, I know this seems like a lot of work, but let me tell you, it is going to pay off so much more. And what's great is, is that once you've done and gone through and added all your links to these things, really all you're changing at this point is that first page. 
is you're customizing it for the host. Once you've set this up with your links, this page doesn't need to change. This page would only change as the promotions change. I've added license collections. Um, and a little side note on this, you have to be really careful with sharing anything licensed products, okay? Because you created this as an external website, you can only share this link to your client, so your host, and to their friends and family in private messages. So you can send it through messenger, email, text messages. Um, you cannot post this on Facebook. This is not the purpose of this, is to create that. If you want to share links on Facebook, share it directly from your website, okay? Now, I'm just going to tell you one other thing you can do with this is that you could technically print these off as flyers and hand these out in your orders and your happy mail and, and at parties. Um, but you cannot, again, post this online because it's licensed, it has licensed products on it, okay? Um, if you're unfamiliar with the licensing rules uh, regarding com the compliance rules regarding licensing, please go to the workstation. I'm going to add that link in the description on the YouTube video as well, um, just so that you can reference what the licensing FAQ is, uh, because it's super important. It jeopardizes when we don't follow the rules with regards to licensing products. If consultants don't follow the rules, we are in jeopardy of losing the licensing. And I do personally don't want to lose that because I think they're awesome. So again, you got the kind of the gist of everything here. I'm going to go back into the Valentine's thing. I'm going to hit my back arrow. I'm going to copy the link for the entire collection and I'm going to add it to this last one. Do, 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 paste. And again, the box. So I'm just going to tap out, tap the box. I'm going to link the box. Link the box. Paste. Done. Okay, and I'm going to repeat that kind of steps to go through for every single collection. So I'm going to swipe over so you can see. Let me get out of here. Swipe, and every single one of these collections is I'm basically going to do the same thing as I'm going to go to my website. I'm going to go back to collections, and I'm going to look for those. Like I can click licensed collections, and I can go through and select the specific like for, I'm going to do the Mickey Mouse one for now, just so you can see it. Um, I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to go back to that picture and I'm just linking the picture. And as you notice with this one, I didn't have any buttons underneath each picture because I thought it was just a lot. Um, so I'm just going to go back and I'm going to add the link to each collection individually, but then I'm going to go back to my website and I'm going to go back to the licensing where you can see everything. And I'm going to copy this link, copy. The entire thing. Copy the link, add it to the button so they can see all of the collections in one shot. Done. So then that page is all licensing. Okay. Now, again, as things discontinue and as new things come in, this is completely editable. Each one of these is added individually. So you can take it out, add it, move it, whatever you'd like. Okay. If you have any questions on that, please let me know. Okay, and I'm going to swipe over in the last page, or there's a, one more page, I think, two more pages after this. So I've added another page with January's warmer and scent of the month at the very top. Again, same ideas. You're going to go and find the link, and you're going to link the pictures. You're going to link the button. And this is going to be this you can change. You can update and go February's warmer of the month, and you can leave the description, and you're just going to change the pictures. And FYI, all these pictures, except for the one with the, the bars holding the hand, I found that on Facebook, or all the other pictures, um, I found off the workstation in the marketing section. So all the licensing ones I found in the workstation. Um, Sent and warmer of the month, the marketing tab has that section, actually. If you go into the, the filters, you can actually look for Sent and warmer of the month. You can just search for it. It'll show you everything. You can download it. Um, I did gift set bundles here. So I did any bundles like that. Now, here's the cool thing about this is you could add a personal special as well. This is not a personal special. This is a Sensi special, but you could add a personal special to this page for, because you're sharing this link privately. It's a, you can do personal specials in here. Um, so you could change whatever you want in this section as well. Um, if this, once this promotion ends at the end of January, 
Um, and then I did a page where it says shop all our products. This page here, once you have this set up by linking it to your website, then you are set. You don't need to change this. This is good to go. Um, so like this is categories on the website, but it's just one shot. You can browse it all right there by clicking the button. So again, you're going to link each picture to each category. In case you're not familiar, I'm just going to show you, go to the menu. It literally lists them all there. Warmers and wax diffusers and oils and so on. Okay. Um, and to browse it all, I'm just sending them the link directly to my website. No, find a category for it. Just send them the website link. And the last page, save the best for last, is I'm going to hyperlink the top picture here back again to the shopping link, the party page, uh, for the host. Um, or it's totally up to you. You could just send, send that link directly to your website. You could do that too. Um, the best for last, click any button below. Bundle and save packages. You're going to go into your specials. You're going to click bundle and save. You're going to hyperlink copy the link for this and you're going to drop that into that button january's whiff box clearance section host your own party and earn rewards so if you're not familiar with your website by the time you're done this you're gonna be so familiar with every where everything is all right so that's where the host page is get paid on your own purchases you're going to send them to the join page and you're going to send them that information right there cool and then the last section is need help or have questions, contact me. You're going to change it, add your name. You're going to add your cell phone number, your email. Again, you can link this, by the way. I'm just going to show you how I did that again. Oh, I'm not going to. You can change this however you'd like, right? Okay, I'll do that. And now I'm going to copy everything. I'm just going to double tap on it. Going to select all. I am going to find the link. Where is it? Okay. Oh, right there. Three dots again. And do the same thing. And add your add your link to your email. Um, your website. You're going to do that again. You're going to copy that directly from your website up here. You can just do. You can copy it however you like. If you are ready to take your business to the next level, you can also do a branded website. I like to brand my business. Um, so my website is thesenselife.com. So I went to GoDaddy. I bought a domain. And I forwarded my Sensi website to my domain. Okay. Um, and again, you're going to link it. You're going to link your Facebook. You're going to link your Instagram. You're going to drop your username in there. So I, again, my business is branded by the sense life, to, the sense life. So my username is at the sense life on Facebook and Instagram. So I can link that as well. And then you're going to drop your picture in there. Now to save it. This is my favorite part. You ready? Now I've done everything. Everything is done. I'm really excited to share this. You want to test it first before you send it out there, because I know it happens, you get distracted, you haven't had time to sit down and do the whole thing, you're gonna do it in bits and pieces. That happens, life happens. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're gonna test it before you send it to your customer, okay? You're gonna hit your box with the arrow pointing up. You're gonna swipe until you see the word website. Mine, because I've been playing with this, mine comes up right at the top, but you may have to swipe through until you see it but I'm gonna click website. And this is going to drop down or drop up in eight options. First one is presentation. I'm not a fan of presentation because people would have to swipe left and right. It's great if you're doing an ebook, um, but not for this particular purpose. So I'm gonna tap the down arrow and I'm gonna look for uh, standard. Standard is going to give me a very website looking thing. The other option is you could do scrolling, but scrolling has a bit of a lag. So they actually have to keep scrolling up the page to see more content. I personally prefer standard because it's all on one page. I just love that. So I'm gonna click open website. Now it's gonna show you everything that you've got going on here. How cool is this? All right, so now you can test your links. You can tap anything. Make sure your links are working, okay? Oops, I forgot to press the back arrow. 
Um, and yeah, go through and test everything. Okay, you want to make sure everything looks good. I've animated the arrow so they can scroll down to see more. Okay, so now, how cool is this, right? Now, one more thing I forgot to mention. One other thing you need to change before you go, before you go and share it, and as you notice, I've just realized I made a mistake, so I was able to click done, go back, make any changes. You want to click the three dots at the top and change the name so that it's your person's name. So I want to change this to Patricia's Sensi Pocket Party. You're going to say, why do you want to do that? That doesn't make any sense. Why, why, why does it matter? So I'm going to show you. I'm going to go back to the box with the arrow pointing up. I'm going to click Website. I'm going to find Standard again. I'm going to click Open Website. Now at the very top, you're going to notice, whoops, it says Patricia Sensi Pocket Party, right? So now I'm going to go through, I'm going to test to make sure, oh, I forgot to link that photo. Oh, see, I'm tapping, a, I'm tapping one of the bring back my bars. I didn't link them. So I can click done and go back and fix it and click back the back arrow. And I can tap out of it and go back to that page and fix that. Okay. Let's say everything is ready to go. You're done. It's perfect. You love it. You're going to open it up again. The, on the very bottom of your phone, you're going to see the arrows left and right, the box pointing up, and the little um, com compass. I personally like to press the box pointing up, and this is going to give me the options to copy the link. Okay, now I'm going to come up to my, my browser again. Let me show you how I just did that. So I went to my Safari browser. I'm going to get, open up my browser. I'm going to hit paste. And it's going to click go. Here's the thing. Okay, so there, it's perfect. Looks great. It's automatically going to show like it's in Canva, but it doesn't matter. That doesn't really matter. But this is so nice looking. It's so easy. They can look at a menu. They can see some of the options that they're looking for in there. But everything is clickable. How great is this? Okay. Now, if you want to take it to the next step further, um, you could. Let me open up Rebrandly. I personally love using Rebrandly. Thank you, Kimberly Polito. She's the one that told us about Rebrandly, and I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to click log in, and I'm going to show you what I've done is with Rebrandly, you can basically shorten links, but you can also buy a domain for a very low cost. I'm just going to come out of this one because this is my team one. Log in. No, get out of there. <laughs> I'm going to go to one of my accounts. I have a few Gmail accounts. Um, and I created uh, the Sense Life Party. And I've already created one for the, the Patricia Party Pop. So basically what I've done is I created this branded link. And I've hyperlinked it. So all I have to do is copy it paste the link in and then I can change it to January and I can make it look real pretty right pocket party I always like to click copy to keyboard clipboard and now it's clipped it so now when I go to paste the link in there it looks like so much nicer. It just looks so much nicer. Um, so yeah, so you can always look at that kind of information um, on your own, at your own time. I can link the, I'll link rebrand link in the description below. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of fun. And this is so much nicer. And then customers can just scroll right there on their phone. They can see everything that you're going to be posting at a Facebook party is right here. It's so cool. And the thing is, is if you're really techy and you love canva and you want to take this to the next level you could technically drop a video in here you could do so much more with this it's just this is just the starter okay so let me know if you have any questions comment below or reach out to me on facebook and i will talk to you soon bye